The Ansar Allah movement carried out a new series of strikes on Saudi Arabia in the framework of their operations to oppose the kingdom-led intervention of Yemen. On August 25th, Yemeni forces fired 10 short-range ballistic missiles at military sites in the Jizan International Airport in their biggest attack with such missiles on targets inside Saudi Arabia. Yemen's Al Masira TV reported that the missiles targeted the hangars of Saudi warplanes and Apache choppers, as well as some military sites in the area. On the same day, Ansar Allah launched a new ballistic missile dubbed Nikal at a gathering of the Saudi military in the kingdom's province of Najran. Brigadier General Yahya Suri, a spokesman for Ansar Allah-led forces, said that the new missile struck its target, killing and injuring dozens of coalition personnel. On August 26th, Ansar Allah, for the first time, used a squadron of its new Samad III to strike an important military target in the Saudi capital of Riyadh. Brigadier General Suri said that the drones struck the designated target with great precision, emphasizing that the strikes were the answer to the Saudi aggression against Yemen. Later, a Qasim medium-range ballistic missile hit positions of Saudi-backed forces in the Sakam area of Narjan province. On August 27th, Qasif 2K loitering munitions targeted Saudi Arabia's King Khalid Air Base in the province of Asir. All these developments came amid continued border clashes between Ansar Allah fighters and Saudi-led forces. Ansar Allah regularly releases videos showing large equipment losses of coalition-backed troops in the area. Taking into account a recent rift between Saudi-backed and UAE-backed forces in southern Yemen, it appears that the coalition is steadily losing more and more ground in the war-torn country and that the war is moving to southern Saudi Arabia.